Flexor tenotomy is a simple repair for a hammer toe that is still flexible. If this is a toe, there is an extensor tendon on the top and a flexor tendon on the bottom. A hammer toe occurs when one tendon, usually the flexor tendon, overpowers the other and pulls the toe down into a contracted position. If it's still flexible, meaning you can still pull the toe up straight, a simple procedure is to come right here to the bottom of the toe, put a small injection of Novocaine like the dentist uses, and simply cut that tendon. Now when we do that, we put a little dressing on it, and it heals up just like any other cut would. You walk in and you walk out. The whole procedure takes about five minutes. And this is a pretty simple hammer toe surgery. This is the hammered toe, and I can pull it straight. Any toe that we can pull straight, we know that we can straighten by cutting the tendon that is deforming the toe. In this case, the flexor tendon is our deforming force. We're going to numb the skin up with cold spray so that the needle doesn't hurt. And now we're ready to inject. What the patient will feel is a stick and you a okay, slight honey? burn as the medication goes in. Okay. Now this toe is nice and numb. What we're going to do here is make a small incision in this plantar sulcus and through that incision we're going to tenotomize or cut the flexor tendon which is pulling the toe in a curled position. It's a simple incision and that's it. The procedure's over. Now Linda, if you could show us the difference between this curly toe over here, which we have not yet fixed, mm -hmm. and this nice and straight toe over here. So this is our post-op foot. You can see Miss Rita did a great job here. It's not a big and bulky dressing. She'll be able to walk right out of here. Now I put Novocaine in there like the dentist does to numb it up, so it will stay numb for about four to six hours. We'll give Rita something for pain so that when she goes home she can take her pain medication, and when the foot wakes up she'll still be happy. It takes about two to three days before you're comfortable and you're back up and about. How about work tomorrow? Work tomorrow. You can go to work tomorrow. It'll be a little sore, so you might be doing some heel walking, but you'll get around just fine. Take every opportunity you can to elevate the foot, prop it up, and take it easy. Here's Miss Rita walking on out the door. I see my foot up.